All samples of the concrete must be obtained and prepared in accordance with BS EN 12350 Part 1. The fall height of the tabletop should be measured to ensure that the top plate shall be limited to 40 plus or minus 1 millimeter. Place the flow table on a flat and horizontal surface free from external vibration or shock. Make sure that the hinged top of the table can be lifted to the correct limit of its travel and is then free to fall to the lower stop. Clean the table and the mould and dampen them immediately before testing, but keep them free from superfluous moisture. Place the mould centrally on the tabletop and hold it in position by standing on the two foot pieces. Fill the mould with concrete in two equal layers using the scoop. Level each layer by tamping lightly ten times with the tamping bar. If necessary, add more concrete to the second layer to maintain an excess above the top of the mould. Using the tamping bar, strike off the concrete, level with the upper edge of the mould and clean any excess concrete off the area of tabletop. Wait 30 seconds after striking off the concrete, then raise the mould vertically by the handles over a period of 3 to 6 seconds. Stabilise the flow table by standing on the toe board at the front of the table and slowly raise the tabletop until it reaches the upper stop in such a manner that the tabletop does not impact hard against the upper stop. Allow the tabletop to fall freely to the lower stop. Repeat this cycle to give a total of 15 drops, each cycle taking not less than 2 seconds and not more than 5 seconds. Using the rule, measure the maximum dimension of the concrete spread in the two directions parallel to the table edges and record the two measurements to the nearest 10 millimeters. To calculate the flow, divide the two measurements thus provided and express the result to the nearest 10 millimeters. The following information must be included in the test report.